do the. Can we do a donut? Yeah. Unless you're a pussy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's 99 degrees in here. Literally. We're gonna be deadlifting in like 100 degrees right now. If it's like anything below 90 degrees, I basically barely sweat. But now, because it's like 100 degrees in here, I've been sweating my balls off. I was like, literally like drenched just trying to clean it. It was unbelievable. And I love to sweat, it sucks. It's like a kind of a curse. Because also I feel like I hold on to a little bit more water, like easier than more people do, because I don't ever sweat it out.
Come on. Yeah, yeah. Like the speed of sound We can keep on the ground Can't stay in one place Keep moving like a bullet train Like a bullet train Like the speed of sound It's about 4 p.m. right now. I just had some blueberries and raspberries, and I just had a few rice cakes as well, just to get a nice pre-workout snack in. I already had like eggs and bacon and some toast earlier as well. Um, so, you know, I feel pretty pretty energized, ready to go. I was also watching Gabe's video, because sometimes I watch Gabe's stuff and stuff like that, because I don't know, I, just, <laughs> I like to see what bro's up to. I'm about to train in my home gym, so, I probably already posted the video with my best friend Colin working on the home gym and you probably seen in that video like the the energy, the atmosphere, how sweaty I was and all that stuff and you know I feel like I'm actually in dungeon mode like I, I don't want to go to any other gym I just want to train at home and I'm extremely hyper focused not on what you think I know some of you are probably thinking about like the deadlift and stuff which yeah I'm extremely focused on the deadlift but I feel more focused just like literally at every workout like no matter what I'm doing I just felt super hyper focused and you know a lot of you know that I have issues sweating I don't sweat very often it takes it takes like extreme extreme intensity and at least 85 plus degrees in a gym for me to have a drip of sweat you know and obviously I'm still human so I'm gonna sweat you know if I'm gonna sauna I do I, I'm usually the last person out of all my friends to sweat in the sauna and stuff like that but yeah in my home gym I get normal bodily function as every other human should get like sweat finally but it took it takes my gym to be literally quite literally I think my gym is a hundred degrees because I don't have a heater or an AC in the gym so it, it's kind of like a trade-off because if I were to pick one specific temperature to train in it would be literally like 90 to 100 degrees because like I said I don't sweat it's my preferred it's my preferred temperature to train in, and for another reason is because my joints feel extremely lubricated. You know, obviously if you're in a cold gym, or if it has like really high turned on, if, if it's AC is turned really high and stuff like that, your joints feel a lot more brittle and you know more more painful. But you feel extreme, you feel so much blood flow throughout your body when you're like when you're extremely hot. So aside from sweating really hard, you know, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't like to train in that extremely high temperature but the thing is like I said is I can't really ever sweat so this is like a whole new thing to me and I'm almost like addicted to just sweating like absurd amounts in the home gym just because I'm, I'm so not used to that feeling I don't even need to take any pre-workout or anything I could just go in there and start working out and after about 30 minutes I'll be like pretty drenched or like 45 minutes and you know I get such a extremely extremely you know I guess like euphoric we could say is the word like feeling when I'm done working out almost like I was in a sauna um, obviously because it's so hot in there but you know it's just such a strange feeling because for me never really being able to sweat obviously my armpits sweat and like that's about it like I'll have some armpit sweat every workout but that's it like I don't I don't sweat my chest I don't sweat in my back I don't sweat literally anywhere so 
to be just completely drenched and have, it just feels like I'm relieving myself of like all these like toxins and stuff in my body. Like I'm just getting it out. I don't know how to explain it other than that. It's kind of hard to explain, but it literally just feels so amazing to me to just be able to like actually one, look like I'm working hard, and two, you know, just sweat my nuts off, like, yeah. Basically, what I'm trying to get at is I've been re I've been really, really enjoying the workouts in the home gym because of the heat and stuff like that, and I've been literally just addicted to working out in there, and every workout lately has been so great. Like, for some reason, I'm having, like, body, what's the opposite of, like, dysmorphia? Like, when you, I don't know, body narcissism. Like, I think I look great, you know? Like, finally, it's been so long since I feel like I look good, but the workouts in there, I just feel like I'm literally putting on muscle tissue, like, training with such high intensity and just, like, all the heat and just, like, the pumps and just everything just has been absolutely absurd. I literally am enjoying myself so much. Now, I'm gonna probably take some pump product. I already had, like, an energy drink a little earlier, and I don't really take a lot of caffeine nowadays, so I kind of feel like I did the appropriate thing there. I don't really need any more caffeine in me. All right, we got Firefly Lemonade right here with a visible scooper. I'm gonna put just one scoop in there. Maybe one and a half, kind of feeling that. I also just text Gabe. I asked him if I could come out pretty soon to Arizona because I really miss the guy and I just love Gabe so much, man. Great, great, great guy that guy is. I wanna come out to Arizona just to see how bros living, you know? And just get to see Arizona, get to see some new gyms. You know, I also just never, you know, visited Gabe or anything like that. He's always coming out here to me, so I kind of felt like I was like, you know what, I want to see my bro. So I think around August 12th, 13-ish, I'll be going out there, probably for like four days. Super excited about that as well. Ooh, it is hot in here. It's got to be 100-something. Now that we're in here, I'm gonna just pretty much get warmed up. I'm gonna drink this pump product. Sit on my phone, connect my speakers, listen to music for a few minutes. Just get in the zone and then we're gonna overhead press. Um, because I overhead press one day a week now. Just trying to focus on getting like the shoulders stronger. And I don't know, I feel like nobody's really strong at overhead press. I mean, I'm not either, but it'd be cool, kind of cool to be strong at overhead press. Also, it's a really good shoulder building movement. So just kind of been like focusing on that. Uh, Aaron's also at the gym, so nice and nice and quiet guy time you know i got my guy time right now just ah just I love, i'm a dude so you know i love to just be alone and be fucking weird and just not talk to anybody
workout done. That was a hard one, but such a good workout per usual in that gym, dude. I fucking love training at home, literally just a hermit crab. stick to this intense training regimen. You have to keep doing it. No matter how difficult it gets. It took me a full three years to get this strong. 100 push-ups. 100 sit-ups. Then a 10-kilometer run! Do it every single day! to be a strong hero. Even if I was spitting blood, I never stopped. And I had become stronger! It's been so long. I've forgotten the exhilaration of a real fight! Bro! Oh my god! Dude! We- alright, so uh, before this workout starts... <laughs> no! I'm, that was insane, bro. No way. Dude, we filmed so much funny We were literally insane for like 30 minutes, bro. We were literally insane. Bro, we just went ape shit! Ah! Alright, so I didn't know the last time I recorded on my camera it was set in slow-mo, which means every clip has no sound. What? Come on, baby! Sound so aggressive, but by that shit. it makes you manic. I think I'm sweating because I. You think we took C4? Yeah, hell no, buddy. You want to get a pump? You want to sweat? You want to feel your androgens? Buy a fucking Lexus pre workout. You buy that shit August 7th at 10 a.m. PST. What more do I need to fucking say? I bestowed upon him these do rags. These do rags, one piece ass workout. Like, I, I'm sick they didn't get to see all this shit, bro. I know. We just not wearing do rags just to wear them. Like, this is, this these is are special. No dead ass. Damn. Like I said earlier, the weight of the world is a lot heavier than what's on that fucking bar. The weight on my shoulders, my mom is heavier than any fucking bar can be. Ah! Fucking rip it! In the name of that lost fucking footage. Ah! This should have snapped. This will fucking snap. This one up. Cheese and crackers. This Come on, baby. This is some gushers. This, this is some cosmic brownies right here, baby. Full course meal. This is a fucking snack in the middle of the night. I ain't even hungry for him. Uh. Uh. Come on, he ain't even hungry. Uh. Uh. Show him how fucking lackluster your appetite is. Uh. Uh. I go to fucking failure. <laughs> Bro. No way. No way. This is why you can't let my meathead ass be the cameraman. Fuck it, man. We never gave a fuck anyways, right? Hey, we, we never, never gave a fuck from the beginning. Yeah. You think I'm gonna give a 
fuck now, I'll never fuck you. That boy don't give a fuck. Throw the pain away, buddy. This world's done me wrong way too many fucking times. It's time to, it's time to They're fuck. trying to drag me down, and they're not gonna fucking let that shit happen. You keep coming back harder. You're not gonna stop us. The world's trying to stop me? Nah. I'm gonna put my dick in the fucking ground and fuck it. I'm gonna just get a pump. There is no fucking stopping us. You wanna fuck my camera up? You wanna make my camera overheat? I'll grab another camera. You overheat that camera? I'll find another fucking camera. I'll go to fucking Best Buy and buy all the fucking cameras. The world will see this greatness. I'll make a fucking camera. I'll document this shit. But one way or fucking other. I'll put this shit up on porn up. Your girlfriend gonna be fucking masturbating to my fucking girl. And your boyfriend. You don't fucking give up on me. You don't fucking give up on me. I ain't giving up. You don't fucking give up on me. Uh, uh, I keep coming. You're gonna keep fucking coming. Harder and fucking harder. I'm a cream pile up in the fucking earth. I'm gonna fill the dirt with my fucking sperm. Every time you go in the gym, every fucking speck of sweat, every speck of blood, every speck of fucking mental integrity every single time that you come in here, you give 110%. If you're not giving 110% and you're only giving it 99, you got one more to give. If you're giving it 100%, you're not at your fucking limit because nobody tells you how much you can put in and how much you can't. So you put in 110% so every fucking person watching can undoubtedly see you and your fucking truth and how fucking hard you work. Bro, spit. No, that shit just hit me. That shit just hit my fucking soul. Nobody fucking tells you how hard you can fucking go. Nobody tells you if you're gonna win or not. The only fucking person who makes those decisions are is you. The only fucking person. You never say you never can fucking do something. You can't drive to the gym, you'll take the bus to the gym. You can't take the bus to the gym, you'll bike to the gym. You can't bike to the gym, you walk walking. to the gym. You can't walk to the gym, you crawl to the fucking gym. I'm army crawling on the fucking concrete. That's how bad I fucking want this shit. Yeah, no, I'm sure I believe where I'm going. Tomorrow isn't fucking promised. It's not fucking promised. I'm doing pain to game, man. Pain Nothing's ever fucking, fucking promised. You've been hurt too many fucking times. And I know that because of how fucking hard you work. The hardest fucking workers have been through the hardest shit. You've been through a fucking lot, and I can see that because you're my boy. And the reason that you're fucking great, and the reason that you're here right now is because all that shit, you wouldn't take any of that back, would you? Never, bro. Never! That shit built me! That shit built me! I'm motherfucking tearing up in this bitch, bro. I can't tell if it's sweat or fucking tears. I fucking love you, dog. Love you too, bro. You're an amazing fucking person, bro. You're literally like the crazy. You're very, you're crazy, bro. You know that. You're fucking crazy. <laughs> fucking love you, bro. I love this safe one workout with you right now, man. I literally fucking love you. Bro. I, fucking I love ain't you, never, bro. I ain't never curled a failure like that. Not even with Mikey, bro. I fucking love you, bro. I love you, bro. You're my dog for hell. <laughs> Shit out. Come on. Shit ain't stopping me. 
No one's ah, fucking stuck. Ah, ah, come on. Ah, come on. The only as powerful as the fucking ah, mind is. Push ah, through this shit. Push through, ah, the, push through the fucking pain. Ah, push through the fucking ah, pain. Ah, ah, more pain, ah, more growth. Ah, more pain, more growth. Five more. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. Ah. I can't see. boys right here. You think I'd be going half as fucking hard? No, I wouldn't be shit without my friends. Oh my God. Bro, the amount of shit I learned since I met you, bro. I literally have developed like half of, like a lifespan of knowledge. Man, I'll give you a hug, bro. We're sweaty as fuck. <laughs> when I met Chris, bro, this dude had fucking nothing. He had nothing just in a span of a few months. Chris and Mike changed their fucking lives. If that shit doesn't inspire you to chase after your fucking dreams, then I don't know what it is. You can start tomorrow. You can change your fucking life whenever you want. Like, honestly. I mean, look at what we fucking have. We could have more. You just need to fucking put in the work, man. All right, Chris just left. He went pretty nuts, but uh, he had to go on a date. <laughs> So I just gave him some clothes and stuff like that, and then he rolled out, but there was like 30 minutes of footage that I could have edited, but all the clips were like in slow motion, and it sucks, I didn't even realize, but at least we made the most of it, and um, also, that entire workout, like, the A7C this camera I'm filming on kept overheating, so it sucks, I had to switch to the ZV-E1, and like, the footage might not have looked nearly as good, also the settings weren't really right and whatever, but I just had to go into it, because me and Chris were on kind of on a time limit. But, uh, yeah, kind of sucked. I really wish I wanted to use this, this camera in the workout because I know everything looks really, really nice and pristine. But, oh, well, hopefully, you know, it's not too bad on the ZVE one. So, right here, this is, at, this is my station. This is where I be gaming and editing and streaming, whatever. So, right behind me, I have a fully maxed out Mac Studio. So, the issue was, and why I didn't post for three weeks, is because I got... I mean, I could have posted, but I also kind of was thinking... Maybe it would be cool to make one big video. The main reason I didn't post is because I edited a 20 long, 20 minute long video on that thing, my old iMac, and I go to export it and I have no storage left. And mind you, every single thing is off that computer. The only thing on it was Final Cut. So, but it wasn't even a good video. I wasn't really proud of it anyway. I, I'm way more happy editing this. But yeah, the point is, I have eight terabytes in this computer. And also, it runs my drone footage perfectly fine. Another thing is, when I used to edit, when I edited footage on that, on that right there, um, the footage would always freeze on me. Like, it, it literally just kept freezing over and over again. I couldn't even see what I was editing half the time. So, basically, it was time for an upgrade. And now, I have a wonderful, wonderful setup where I can edit, you know, pretty much everything I want whenever I want. So yeah, I'm super, super excited about that and there should be a lot more videos coming. I'm also feeling like super motivated, having really good workouts and you know, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please drop a like in the video, it really helps me out. Yep, and I'll see you guys probably in the next one.